All right, today we're going to be covering a delay latch. It's pretty much an advanced toggle. Because you could put a timer on it and you can put a parameter. Um, so I have three right here. I have delay latch with no timer because by default it's set to 1000 milliseconds. If you don't put a timer, it's automatically 1000. Uh, and then I got delay latch 250, then I got delay latch 3000. And like I said, it's like toggle but with the timer um pretty much the way it works is it delays before it latches why it's called delay latch and what it does is like uh let's say delay latch the uh, first one 925 no timer it's by default it's 1000 milliseconds so what's going to happen is i the user has have to activate it for one whole second and then it activates the function so what it does is delay latch by itself. It it acts normal for one whole second. Once that one second hits, it toggles it on forever. And the only way to turn it off is to, you know, click the same button again or use a for. Uh, the same thing with uh, delay latch two hundred fifty milliseconds. So right trigger, you know, delay latch two fifty, right puff. In this case. I have to right puff it for two at least 250 milliseconds and then it will toggle on anything before the timer it will just act as normal mm. the same thing with wine 31 Is that 3000 or 30,000 hopefully it's 3000 anyway for this one it's right center puff so that means i have to right center puff it for three whole seconds and then it will toggle if I do it for two seconds, it will act like normal. You know, the function normal where you activate it and activates it. If uh, you let go, it turns off. So that's what normal is. So again, I, if I right center puff it underneath 3000 milliseconds, it does not toggle on. It just turns off and nothing happens. It's as simple as that. And uh, let me just show you real quick. Now that I explain it, I can actually show you. Uh, the first one, uh, line 25. It's uh, A, delay latch on lip. Since there's no timer, it's automatically 1000. So I had to use the lip. See me clicking on it? Uh, since I let go, it doesn't activate. I mean, the button activates, but the function itself doesn't begin to activate until I complete. I'm going to hold it for one whole second. It makes a beeping noise and it stays on forever. Easy. If I want to turn it off without force off, well, just click the lip again and it turns off. Uh, since I have enough room for that, it's super easy. Uh, let's go for the next one. A right trigger, delay latch, 250 milliseconds, and we're going to be right puffing it. Uh, this one's a, a, a kind of small timer, but it's not small enough to where I can just tap it. So you notice me tapping it and it, it doesn't activate. But if I hold it for 250 milliseconds, instantly it already toggles. And that wasn't even a second. It's pretty quick, but it's not too quick. Now, again, to turn it off, just right puff it. And it turns off. Now for the big one, it's a uh, Y. On delay latch, 3,000. It's right center puff. So, if I right center puff it for one whole second, this is what happens. It activates. But see, since I let go before the timer, it doesn't fully activate. But it still activates the button, nonetheless. Mm. Now, if I hold it for three whole seconds... There you go. It took three seconds to activate it. Now it's toggled. Easy as that. Um, I will say one thing. If you look right above it on line 30, it says Y. It's on normal and it's on center set. There is another way to turn off your delay latches or your toggles if they are not on force off. Either A, turn it off using the same button you activated, or B, use a force off, or C, um, 
have another have it mapped on another button. In this case, Y is also button mapped on center sip. So if I were to center sip, it would activate Y, and since I activated it again, it will turn off any other instances. Uh, you had you didn't notice to activate it, but you did see it turn off. Just because I used the uh, center set, it's set on normal. So that's another way to do it. Uh, give me, let me give you an example of how I use it. If I'm just using the quad stick, I like to put a lot of delay latches on my walking, my move. Okay, so I'm pretty much showing you the delay latches of all the directional buttons for my Horizon Zero Dawn. And I will put the, the snippet of uh, the command that I use. I'm not going to show you the force-offs. Mm, you can just look in the description box of this video for the Horizon Zero Dawn link. And, it, and it's Emulation 3, Xbox. Because X360 doesn't work on, on this game. Damn you, Sony. It's a really useful technique, especially when I don't want to hold a button. Or, like, hey, let me show you. So the reason I use delay latches, I want it to latch eventually. Like, walk forever or whatever. Certain situations. But there's sometimes when I'm walking that I just want to tap it. You know, like, maybe I'm close to the edge of a cliff. And instead of toggling walking and it'll kill me, I can just tap away from it. You know, I can tap at the edge of a cliff without falling. But yes, this is me toggling delay latch forward, 250 milliseconds, and that's all it does. I also put another button onto it. I think I put left stick on delay on, but you guys should already know about delay on. Pretty pretty useful. So what happens is, I if I do it quick enough, it just walks. But if I hold it, it will start running. It's a good combination with uh, delay on and delay latch. Delay Lash will activate first, and depending on your timer, Delay On will activate. The next thing I did was I put Walking Backwards on left center sip. And it, what I did is I put a Force Off Walking Forward to where every time I activate Walking Backwards, it turns off Forward. Because in real life, you cannot walk forward and backwards at the same time. You know what I mean? So, Walking Backwards turns off Forward. And walking forward turns off backwards. It's really simple. That's pretty much what delay latches to me. An instant toggle or delayed toggle. Same thing with dodging left to right. If I dodge left and right, I made it to where it turns off every other direction. Instantly dodge left and it walks left forever. Instantly dodge right and it walks right forever. Nothing to it and I can turn the camera. Beautiful. Beautiful function. Um, I pretty much play pretty simple on it. Especially in this game. Uh, dodging left and then aiming and shooting is pretty nice. You can circle the enemy. You can constantly circle the enemy to keep them in your sight. Kill them. So to speak. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I didn't talk too much. That should be pretty straightforward. Catch me on the next one. I do force off. Take care.